This is the iPhone 14 and this is a standard slim case. This is the first option that popped up in a Google search. It was only 20 bucks and it was two miles away so I was able to get it same day. The brand is Spigen and the model is ThinFit. It looks and feels pretty good and I really like that it has rubber corners for drops. There are a few cases on the market that are actually even thinner than this one but this is about as thin as I feel comfortable with. On the right is a brand new Kishi that I just picked up for this video. If you pull out the rubber spacers, the case will fit, but unfortunately, it still won't connect to the Kishi. Even if you try to force it on, it still just won't reach. There's a piece of plastic in there that we can remove that'll make enough space for the port to actually plug into the phone. On the second Kishi, I already removed this piece of plastic, so it plugs right in. It's a very simple mod because essentially all we're doing is taking the Kishi apart and putting it back together without that little piece in it. Just watch the video a couple of times and you'll be fine. These are all the tools you need for this mod. I'm not sure if you can read this, but it says trilobe number zero. These are also known as tri-wing bits. They're very similar to Phillips, but instead of four lobes, they only have three. You also need a Phillips bit and a small flathead screwdriver. I got this exact kit on eBay. There's lots of people selling the same one for about the same price, so it should be pretty easy to find. Alright, let's get started. Separate the Kishi, and then click the left side back into the back plate so it's not flopping around while you're working. Flip it over and unscrew the five tri-wing screws. Once you have those five screws out, flip the Kishi around and go ahead and set it down. Now we're going to switch from the tri-wing tip to the Phillips tip. It should come apart now without much force. Start in one corner and work your way back to that same corner. Once you have it completely open, flip it around like this and be very careful not to damage the ribbon cable. Use the flathead screwdriver to release the ribbon cable by pushing on both sides of the clip like this. Pull this little black wire out of the slot and put it off to the side. Next, we're going to remove the trigger. It's held on by just these two silver screws on either side. Be careful with these three pins. Pull the trigger straight back. Remove these two black screws to release the motherboard. Flip the motherboard into your hand and pull some of the harness out of the groove. Remove the right bumper and be careful not to lose the little silver pin that it slides onto. Next, we're going to remove this back plate. It's held on by four screws. This is the piece of plastic that we need to remove. We need to take out these four screws to release it. And that's it. Now, all we have to do is put it back together.
We're only going to put in the silver screws and not the black ones. The next few minutes will just be putting it back together so it'll be silent until the very end.
Enemy UAV spotted.